Welcome back to the last week of Thought Experiment Month with Cardades.org. Today we're going to be looking at Time Without Change by Sidney Shoemaker. So there's an intuition out there that was posited by McTaggart that says there could be no time if nothing changed. I'm going to go through a few examples to give you a sense of this intuition, and then we'll look at Shoemaker's thought experiment that opposes the intuition. So when you think about the way we measure days, what we actually do is measure position and movement, the movement of the Earth around its axis. If the Earth didn't move, we would have no sense of how long a day was. We also measure years in the movement of the Earth around the Sun, and so on and so forth. In fact, we measure minutes and seconds by taking of a pendulum in a clock or the ticking of a second hand on a watch. If there were no movement going on, we would have no sense of time. It could in fact be a million years between one word and another word in my sentence right now, but if nothing changed, we would have no knowledge that that, that million years took place, that million years of empty time or time without change took place. So the problem is, not only does it seem that time without change is impossible, but there would be no way for us to know if time without change happened. Shoemaker is going to give us a thought experiment that at the very least shows us a way in which we might have a feeling that time without change is happening and have a sense of how long it was taking. So. Let's take a look. Imagine a possible world that's divided into three sections. Now, when I say possible world, I don't mean another planet somewhere in our universe. This is actually a separate universe that's completely self-contained. It's a finite space, and all things that are in this universe are in one of those three sections. We'll call them A, B, and C for simplicity. Every other year, zone A freezes for a year. What this means is everything inside the world, you notice a slight redshift, and then everything outside the world seems to jump ahead a year. While people who are in sections B or section C seem to notice that everything in A goes black for a full year, and then everything pops up exactly the same as it was a year later. So the people on the world stipulate that every other year, everything in section A freezes in time. Section B does a similar thing, but does it every three years, and section C does the same thing every five years. You'll notice that every sixth year, A and B will freeze together, every tenth year, A and C will freeze together, and so on and so forth. The trick is when you get to the thirtieth year, what seems to happen is all three sections will freeze together for a year, but there's no outside observer to notice if it's actually a year or what's going on. All three sections observe the same redshift that happens, but instead of something jumping ahead a year, nothing seems to happen. The best guess is that they think everything freezes for a year. So either everyone freezes for the every 30th year, or the rules are much more complicated about who freezes when. Even if time doesn't in fact freeze every 30th year, we seem to have pretty good evidence it does. The redshift happens, everything like that. That was Time Without Change. Next up is the Plank of Carnaides, and then a spooky Halloween surprise. Watch a new video every single day this month at carnaides.org, and stay skeptical, everybody.